Dr. Zorba Pastor is taking your calls at 270-9933, and we will start with Dick in Wanakee. Hi, Dick, what's your question? Yes, uh, Dr. Zorba, uh, I am a reader of your weekly column, and you had indicated that a daily aspirin is no longer necessary. Uh, wondered if, if, if that is uh, correct. Uh, my is doctor correct. has indicated right. that. Go ahead. Right, that is correct. A daily aspirin is indicated if you have heart disease and under other conditions, but aspirin should prevent a heart attack in the first place. We used to say that was the case, but now the studies show it does not, it is not necessary to take it, so we no longer recommend it just as a prophylaxis against heart disease unless you've had a heart attack or something of that nature, such as a stent. Okay. All right, let's go to... Uh Alan. Al Alan in Cambria. Hi, Alan. What's your question? No, he's in the town of Burke. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's a different caller. Yes. Okay, I apologize. Go ahead. Can you hear us? Yeah. Um, doctor, I was wondering. I got emphysema and uh, asthma and beginning stages of COPD. Am I eligible for the shot? Oh, you bet. And in fact, you're more Early. than eligible. You should definitely get the shot because you are at high risk if you get COVID of actually ending up on a ventilator. So the answer is yes, get your shot. Call your doctor's office. Get it today. Many doctor's offices now have the Moderna vaccine, so it's even easier to get than other. Of course, Walgreens, CVS, and other pharmacies can also give you that shot. Lots of places to get it in Wisconsin. Get that shot today or tomorrow. Get it done. Yeah. All right, let's go to Alana now in Cambria. Hi, what's your question? Hi, I have MS, and I had to wait to take the sh beginning shot mm -hmm. because I was on prednisone. And now, with this booster up, I've been having a sinus infection, three different antibiotics in a row, and I would like to know, do I qualify for the booster? It all depends on how much prednisone you're on, and that's where you really talk to your doctor or nurse practitioner or a PA about that. But the answer is you probably qualify, but I'm not sure. Remember, after the 20th, everybody will qualify eight months after their second shot. Okay. All right, good luck to you. Let's go to Lonnie in Milton. Hi, Lonnie, what's your question? Hi, Dr. Zorba. How are we going to work our flu vaccinations in, in addition to our COVID boosters? Sure. Good question. A lot of the pharmacies will be given. A lot of the pharmacies around will be given flu vaccine and booster at the same time. So the answer is they'll probably give two shots. That has yet to be worked out. But I just discussed that with some of the health authorities, <coughs> and they said we'll just give two shots at the same time. There's good evidence that you actually get better antibody response, uh, better antibody response when you actually give them at the same time. And something mm. else I want to say: whether you have Pfizer or Moderna, you can mix and match. If you have Pfizer, you can have Moderna. If you have Moderna, you can have Pfizer. We tend to keep it together, but as long as the messenger, the mRNA shot, they're good to go. And no J&J &J booth <coughs> as of yet. Right. That's right. right. I'm not sure about that yet. All right. Let's go to David and Momfort. Hi, David. What's your question? Yeah, I'm wondering if I, I get an annual flu shot and I'm due for the booster too. <coughs> I'm wondering if it's going to counteract each other, if I should get both of them at the same time or what? It will not counteract each other, and you'll probably get them both at the same time. But the CDC has yet to actually say those recommendations. They might be different by the time the flu shot is out, but definitely get both of them. One does not counteract the other. Good question, by the way. That's a question on a lot of people's minds. All right, Lori and Muscaday, quickly, what's your question? Um, my question is, I don't know if I would qualify for the booster shot. I, um, diabetes is the condition that I have, but I had breast cancer surgery about six months ago when I'm taking an estrogen blocker. Just wondering if that, if I would be considered with a compromised immune well, system. Well, first of all, you will qualify after September 20th, which is not that, you know, not that far away. You, have be, you might be able to make an appointment now, but you actually have to look at the CDC guidelines. And if you have a question, call your doctor. They can look at it and say, yes, you qualify or don't. Hard to say individually what exactly is that. CDC guidelines, look it up online and Google it and you'll get the answer. It's encouraging. Everybody wants the booster. That's yeah, good news. Great Absolutely great. It's right. a great. That's great news. Thanks you all for calling in. Zorba, thank you for your time. Have a great weekend. Thanks, you too. Well, the final check of your forecast coming up.